Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Brown, and today I'm going to be roasting Squarespace because of its terrible SEO. Now I'm going to start with a story. There's an SEO expert in our industry called Rand Fishkin, and he works for Moz.com, or he was the founder of Moz.com. He's kind of moved on to some other things, but in 2014, he was talking about Squarespace, and he went against everything he had previously said about Squarespace, and he said, Squarespace is excellent for SEO. They've made a lot of strides. But first of all, he was consulting for them, so it's a little suspect. And in 2016, he went against what he had said. Maybe he's a little embarrassed and said that Squarespace had gone backwards with its SEO. There's big problems with Squarespace's SEO. We want you to get ranked and get higher on Google, so we're gonna give it to you straight. First of all, there's quite a few terrible problems with headlines being the same as the meta description. So you enter a meta description, which is something that should be specific for Google search results page, and it's used as a headline within the template. That's pretty egregious, to be honest, in our industry. Secondly, there's no H1s on some pages. H1 is, is the most important tag for SEO besides the meta title and description, and it's missing completely on some templates. Card and poster blocks have headlines, but are actually just coded up as paragraph tags, which ultimately means that Google can't decipher the importance of that text. There's problems with their schema markup. Schema is getting bigger and bigger in our industry and schema should call out the author tags on a particular blog post, but it doesn't. There's captions as alt text and there's no clarity on where to enter your alt text in some cases. They just fixed this problem, but there was a trailing slash problem where these pages are getting indexed twice and causes all kinds of problems if you're using like Screaming Frog or all kinds of indexing problems. The long story short, Squarespace is always behind because it's not open source. So in, in WordPress, you've got tons of people, thousands and thousands of people creating tools and making sure that they're on point with their SEO and it's getting better and better all the time. Squarespace is always behind, maybe even half of the way. So why not take every advantage possible when getting your website made? So don't cut corners just because a Squarespace website is cheap. If you're gonna go down in search results and disappear because you're on a Squarespace site, it's incredibly important that you make sure that you're doing everything intentionally. And there are some things that you can do and that matter the most. So as a caveat, I'm gonna quickly say what those are. If you're on a Squarespace website, you need to have 500 to 700 words on each of your key service pages. You need to make sure your meta titles and descriptions are filled out. Um, preferably with competitive analysis and keyword research. Number three, you can use the code injection tool on Squarespace to insert this little tag, meta name, robots, content equals no index on thin and duplicate pages. Now, that's hard to scale because you have to do it per page. So that's another problem with Squarespace's SEO, but you can do it per page and you should for thin and duplicate content. And then lastly, the most important thing is to create comprehensive content on a regular basis. So occasionally you will see a Squarespace site ranking. And that's why there's a lot of disinformation out there by people who've either built on Squarespace and they sell it to their clients so that they're apologists for it. And secondly, just people that do have comprehensive content going out on a regular basis and do decently on Squarespace. You would just do better on WordPress or an open source platform that has people building out SEO tools and making sure that the markup is correct on a regular basis. So that's it. And I'm excited to see some people roasting me in the comments about how Squarespace is better and they sell Squarespace websites. So go for it. And have a great week. Make sure to get the most optimized type of website that you possibly can because Google search is extremely important for your company's long-term health.